Hey, Miss Cruz. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Man, I'm just all cleaned up. Can't go nowhere. Can't do a thing. Just trying to figure it out like everybody else. How y'all been with all this? Doing good. I'm homeschooling my daughter, trying to exercise, stay sane, cook clean. <laughs> and of course, I would be remiss to say that I not know who you are because I have played your music before, Miss Cruzo. Uh, Colleen Cruzo, ladies and gentlemen, right here is who we have that we're talking to. Uh, I have to start here because you're the granddaughter of the great Frenchies franchise. And, you know, if you live in Houston, Texas, you know, you swear by your Frenchies. <laughs> I'm surprised that you were not forced to go into the family business. And here it is, you're an incredible singer. How were you able to uh, skate by without going into the family business? Well, music has always been my passion since I've been a little girl. Um, my family is super supportive. Uh, one of the requirements, though, in my family is that you have to go to college. So yes. I went to school for business management. And I'm still technically a part. I help with the social media for Frenchies. I'm in California, but I still am very involved. <laughs> <laughs> so you're never really out. It's kind of like the mafia. Once you in, you always in. Absolutely. By the way, I had to mention, because I got a lot of friends that went to Hampton, that you went to Hampton University, so I had to mention that. I know you're an H-Town girl, but you went to Hampton. I'm kind of surprised. What made you go all the way to school on the East Coast? My grandfather uh, actually went to Hampton University. Uh -huh, so see? Went. A lot of people probably don't know that about the Frenchies empire. That Mr. Percy was also a alumni of the great university, Hampton University. So how did you get into this music thing? I, I hear there was a little dancing that was involved at an early age and the whole nine, but you know, here it is, you got your singing thing going on and you're great at it. So how did, how did that transition take place? Uh, my parents put me in dance at a very early age and I just really fell in love with performing. I fell in love with music, writing music. It's always kind of been a form of therapy for me. Um, growing up, I was in and out of a few girl groups. I went to Lamar High School. I sang in the gospel choir. Um, and when I graduated, I went to Hampton, but it's something that I've always just really loved. Um, and upon graduation, I moved back to Houston and linked up with my uh, manager at the time, Goo. And um, those guys just kind of took me under their wing. I kind of did the rapper grind. I was passing out mixtapes and CDs after the club, yeah. tagging along with Paul. Um, so it, it's just been a wonderful journey. Um, I signed to Sony ATV almost 10 years ago as a songwriter. So that's been amazing. I've gotten to meet a lot of great songwriters and producers and really refine my craft and learn how to write. Um, in different genres. So I made the jump to LA six years ago. Um, it's been great. Houston will always be home, but so many opportunities out here. I started acting classes, um, just signed with an agency for acting, so. Can you explain the grind of an artist from, here it is, you've been on the charts, you've had some success, but here it is, you're still grinding away at it, you're still doing it, you, you're relentless. And here's the thing, your music is as great as everyone else's and is finding your way to cut through, you know, and especially now with social media and all that kind of stuff. And I know you have videos and all that. So what are you doing and what do you tell other people that they need to do to stay out there to get in the mix? Because like, you know, it's, it's hard. I think for me, it's just understanding that it is a process, that it is a marathon, it's not a sprint having to learn to be patient. And I think for me, it's just something that I genuinely love to do. I can't see myself doing anything else. Mm -hmm. And as I said before, it's really a form of therapy for me. The song that I had um, on the charts before, Truth Is, mm -hmm. is a song that, you know, I was mad and I went in the studio and I wrote it and I didn't play it for anybody for a long time. So I was like, I probably can't say that out loud. And once I finally played it. That was a really good song, too. I just want to tell you that that was a really, really, really good song. I, and I hear when I hear good music and it doesn't, woof, you, like, you know it's good. And they're like, if y'all just listen to it, you, <laughs> you know, you know it, it, timing. Timing is everything. I think God has a big part to do with it. I think preparation. I think just, you know, continuing to perfect your craft and 
to have a passion for it. And I think timing is for sure. And people need to know too, like like you, like you said before, you are H Town young lady, so you've worked at worked with a lot of the you know those rappers out of the city, and I believe even with the with the latest single. You got zero on it, and you've worked with him before, and Paul Walls, and all that kind of stuff too. Is that is that important for you? You think, or you know, just a little seasoning on something that you already got this cooking? I think it's definitely important to stay connected to my roots. I mean, Houston was a big part of is a big part of who I am. Um, just watching the journey of like Destiny's Child and so many great artists that have come from Houston. So I always try to stay connected to my roots as much as possible. I, if I don't ask this, I would be wrong because this young fella, we actually did some stuff together before, Mr. Jason Bourgeois, who is a former baseball player. How is he? And I know you guys are connected. I'm gonna leave it right there like that. But it was always, he's also another great human being. He's doing good. He's in the room with our daughter oh, right now. Really? Tell him I said hello then. Um, he's doing well. He just retired uh, last year, and he's coaching now for the Dodgers organization. So yeah, yeah. I'm happy to actually have him home. This is technically baseball season, so we never get this time. Now, what's going to happen here is you got a new single. You know, you, you're going to have to get on the road. You're going to have to promote. You know, it's been our dynamic since we met, and right. so it's our normal. You know what I mean? Nothing has really changed. Um, and I think one of the things that I love so much about it is he understands the grind. He knows, like, he used to be gone 180 games a year. So he gets it. He's very supportive. When he's home, he's the cameraman. <laughs> you know, he's doing whatever needs to be done to help me, uh, you know, get it done. So he's super supportive, which is great because he understands what it takes. Absolutely. So what do you want to say about this new single? And is it a part of an album? Is it just going to be this and a visual? What's, what's the plan with the new single? So I'm really excited about it. It's actually a re-release. I put it out in 2014. Um, and we just, the timing, you know, it just didn't have the push that it needed. And so we revisited it in January and it's doing really well. Thank you, Lord. Um, <laughs> I want to do a visual. I'm waiting for the quarantine to be over. Um, and yes, it is going to be part of my EP, which is supposed to drop this summer. So I'm. Is there, a theme, is there a theme behind the album, or just you know, just your thoughts, or what's what's that going to be like? Um, it kind of plays out like a relationship. So there's a song that um, kind of takes you through every phase of a relationship, and so that's the vibe of it. R&B. How autobiographical are your compositions? Like, are you talking about Jason on here? He's like, hey man, take that cut off. Take that cut right there off the album. They don't need to be in my business like that, baby. Yeah, he does get upset sometimes. He gets it. And sometimes, you know, you tap into things that you were feeling from a long time ago, relations, past relationships. And so I feel like my best music is about my life or things that I've been through or and, or, and are going through. I wish you nothing but luck, okay? Thank you so much. All right, what do you want to say to H-Town and everybody else watching right now? It's all on you, Ms. Cruzo. I want to say thank you for supporting my new song. If you haven't heard it, please go check it out. It's available on all digital platforms. And please follow me at Colleen Cruzo, C-O-L-I-N-E-C-R-E-U-Z-O-T. There it is right there. I appreciate it, Ms. Cruzo. Take care of yourself, okay? You too. Have a good all one. All right.
stranger Heart is full of anger and I don't know how to get us back I, I let you walk all over my, my heart Now I don't wanna cry no more Just tell me if you're gonna leave tonight Cause baby you, you tried it You tried my love for the very You could have done a favor, saved me a lesson Cause if I would have known how easy you move on I wouldn't even waste my time I gave you everything, even 